hey guys welcome to coding simplified and now we'll solve a new problem in binary tree so basically we are given a binary tree and we need to find out the and we need to print the vertical order right so vertical order means let's say uh, we have this binary tree and and we say that the vertical height of this node is uh, zero right so we are taking the base as zero and whenever we are going to left then we are assigning it to minus one vertical height so like when i'm going from two to seven i'm assigning a minus one again when i'm going here i'm assigning minus two then when i'm going from minus one to the right side i'm assigning plus one with zero again i'm going left so i'm assigning minus one because zero minus one then again i'm going left so zero plus one one then here 0 plus 1 1 and then here 1 plus 1 2 and then here i am assigned i am going from left so 0 minus 1 1 right so if you see that i need to print the same level node same vertical level node in a single line it means that for minus 2 i have only this single node right so i will print this minus 2 i can say that for minus 2 i have 2 for if you see for minus one so for minus one i have these two nodes right so for minus one i have these two nodes seven and five for zero again i have uh, two nodes two and six and for one level we have three nodes so for one we have eleven five and four and for two we have again one node which is nine right so i need to print something like this that these this is a vertical order here i'm i'm basically showing you the height vertical height and here is the all the order and again uh, like in, internally they can be in any order it's not mandatory because whatever comes first so it can be in any order like for one uh, we can have five early then 11 then four but the point is that vertically order it should be in same order right so this is what we need to print so basically uh, how we can solve this question right so what i will do uh, i'll basically i will basically take the help of a tree so in tree we have a key right so key will be key will be this vertical height and value will be all this value now as you can see they are the multiple value so how you will store that so basically for values we can take a list array list or link list so that uh, whenever we'll find the value at a particular place we'll keep on inserting the value right so like uh, we'll iterate we'll start from the root node and it will say the height as of now is so let's say my height is zero because the root height is zero so now uh, for the first element i i will say for the zero now for each element i will check that whether this key already exists in map or not right because uh, because at the starting my map will be empty right so for if my map is empty so my for zero also uh, for zero key there is no values so i can say that it, that if it is uh, if there is no value for this key then initialize the list and put that value there so it means and for zero key i will create a list and in list i will insert two then i will go left then i can go recursively one by one left right so i will go left then in left uh, when i will go left i will pass hd minus one because i am going left so i can say height minus one right so now uh, again for minus one is there any value so there is no such value so it means for minus one key initialize a list link list or array list and then put the value seven now again you are going left so we are going at minus two level so it means for minus two level again there is no entry in map so it means put the value as two so it means we are going with the left right combination right then uh, then we'll go again here then we'll go from seven to six so for six means six is at zero level so it means for zero level we have already value it means just append the value in the list so it will be two six now for six we'll go to left means minus one so it will go in minus one section means this one so it will print five it will add five now again for 6 to 11 when we'll go from 6 to 11 then we are going right side it means 0 plus 1 so it will go it will check for the one key so one key doesn't exist in map so it means add a new key one and update and initialize the list for this value and then up put the value so it means we'll put 11 here now again uh, we'll go back then back then here when we'll reach here at 2 then again we'll go right side so in right side we'll find out this 5 
which is at the height is 5 or one one height vertical height one so it means it will go in this section then we'll go again right so it means right means the vertical height is 2 so it will check that whether to exist in map or not so it doesn't exist so it means that basically it will print uh, for the 2 initialize for 2 key initialize a list and then put the value as 9 and then it will go left so left means for key 1 so for key 1 it will go here and it will add the value as 4 right so and basically we are taking a tree map so that it will be stored in a order in the order of key right so once we are done with this then what we can do we can simply print this map so it will basically print that for minus 2 uh, it will print 2 for minus 1 it will print 7 and 5 for 0 it will print 2 and 6 for 1 it will print 11 5 and 4 and for 2 level it will print 9 right so this is how we can uh, we can print the all the thing in vertical order so what will be the complexity if you see uh, in one recursion we are solving this complete thing because recursively we are going uh, here then again we are going left right so time complexity will be big of n now about the space complexity so first of all we are taking a map and we are taking a list right internally so uh, overall we can say that we need to store the element so our space complexity will be big of n and basically here we are taking a map and here also we are taking a list array list we can say and so this will be my time complexity and this will be my space complexity right and now let me show you through java code that whatever we have explained how we are doing this so here this is how i am creating my uh, tree so that you can see that i am creating root then left right node and then i am adding all the nodes and here is my function main print vertical order where i am passing the root node so here it is going first of all it's checking that if node is null means if tree is null then return we need not to print anything else take a hd so hd is basically the vertical height and then initialize a tree map so tree map so here it will be our key will be integer so this will be height right this hd and our value will be the array list as we explained so we are initializing this and then recursively we are calling the function get vertical order right so in get vertical order what we are passing we are passing the root node then we are passing the height which is the zero at the starting and we are passing map so here it is going and it is uh, it is it is basically doing the things in pre-order manner so now again it is checking if not equal to null then return else it is checking that for this particular height if the value exists in map or not if value doesn't exist then initialize the list as we explained and then put the value of node of data right and this put this into map right so this is what we will do one by one for each node so then we'll go to left and when we are going to left then we are saying height is hd minus one and then you're passing map again we'll do the same thing that if value doesn't exist in the map so initialize the list then put the value in the list and then put that value in the map right and one by one it will keep on doing the things and at last what we'll do at last for each map map dot entry um, map dot entry and map dot entry set will put the values so cm dot get values right so basically what happens that once you have uh, once you have constructed your map so it basically we are basically fetching the map dot entry so using m dot entry set it will give me all the entry set right and one by one i will print all the values so if you print the if you run the program you can see that this is my solution that for first it is printing one then for second level it is printing seven five then two six then eleven five nine and then five because we are printing only values so that is why it has given me in this manner right and guys i will also put the complete source code into description section so you can copy the url from there and then you can copy the code and then you can execute at your end also so uh, that's it guys about this video we have seen that how we can solve this what will be the logic and what will be the space complexity and time complexity to execute this program but still if you have any doubt so please write in the comment section and i will try to explain that and guys if you think that there is a, there is any good approach then uh, or there is any better approach than this so please also mention in the comment section and i will see that so thanks guys for watching the video and please subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you